Hello everyone, welcome to the Integrity Facts Institute of GIS and Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily mapping photosynthesizing biomass and ground residue using soil adjusted total vegetation index in Google Earth Engine. So I will explain all of these things step by step. I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do mapping of photosynthesizing biomass and ground residue using soil adjusted total vegetation index in Google Earth Engine. So first of all, what is that soil adjusted total vegetation index? So basically, it measures both photosynthesizing and dead vegetation. At the same time, we can measure using the soil adjusted total vegetation index. And there are a lot of uses such as for mapping, photosynthesizing, biomass, ground residue, plant litter, then surface condition and calculate of above ground biomass while compensating for varying soil brightness and background artifacts. And this is the formula about that soil adjusted total vegetation index. It works for that short wave inferred one minus red divided by short wave inferred one plus red plus L. Multiply one plus L subtract with short wave inferred two divided by two. So this is the formula. We can easily use this formula and further we can easily calculate the soil adjusted total vegetation index and we can easily create this map. So let's go. Basically, we can use the Landsat, Sentinel, or Modis. Any satellite imager you can easily use. In this time, I use the other Sentinel 2 satellite imager and further I will try to perform this mapping. So let me open my code. So here you can see this is the code I already write it here. We can get this type of result about that soil adjusted total vegetation index. So basically, we can easily detect the dead vegetation. You can see this type of red color identify about that dead vegetation, as well as we can get about that uh, this type of green color identify about that high concentration about that photosynthesizing biomass. We can identify about that, as well as. Uh, this map is uh, identify about that uh, above ground biomass, where is the high, where is the low, we can easily detect about that. So this is the map. In this time, I create here the soil adjusted total vegetation index. And then further, we can get this type of value. So basically, this high positive value is indicating about that high photosynthesizing biomass activity. And this type of low positive value or negative value Basically, negative periods are indicating about that dead vegetation, or there is no vegetation about that. We can get this type of things. Okay. So now I will try to explain about this code how we can easily create this type of soil adjusted total vegetation index, which is including about that the photosynthesis uh, as well as also show about that dead vegetation at the same time. We can easily measure using that soil adjusted total index. So let's try, try to explain one by one how it will work. So first of all, here you can see I just simply import my study area, the so mangrove forest, and further I simply take the signal uh, surface with frequency imagery, and further I simply filter it, my image collection, and then I simply take all of band this I need. I need the near infrared band, I need the short wave infrared one band, then I need the short wave infrared two band. And further, I just simply take the soil adjustment factor. So in this time, I put the soil adjustment factor L equal to 0 0.5. And further, I calculate the soil adjusted total vegetation index. So just I put the formula. Infrared subtract with short wave infrared 1. Divided by air infrared, add with short wave infrared 1. And add also L. L means the soil as adjusted end factor. And further multiply with 1 plus L, L is the same value 0 0.5, and subtract with short wave infrared 2 and divided by 2. And further, I can calculate it the soil adjusted total vegetation index. And further, I try to display the layer, then we can easily get this type of map. So basically, this map uh, is represented the soil adjusted total vegetation index. While we find out that high positive value, it indicating about that high photosynthetic activity okay. and how we can get the low so basically it's no indicating about the dead vegetation but the step of rate identify about the dead vegetation 
and this red color, there is no photosynthesizing activity. There is no photosynthesizing activity. And this type of green color is about that high photosynthesizing activities. Okay? And from that, we can also create about that above ground uh, biomass mapping as well. So there's a lot of things. Actually, this index, there's a lot of users in remote sensing. So you also try to use it and further if you have any problem, then let me know and then I also guide you. So in the meantime, I also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program. If you want, you can also join my live training program and learn all of this from beginner to advanced level. So basically now this uh, registry is open for this online training program, complete online training on Google Earth Engine for remote sensing and GIS analysis for beginners to advanced level. So basically our class will be start from that 19th July from next week, we start our new best session. And now this registry is open. And uh, first 10 this will get the 50% discount. Already if you eight, now only two states are available for getting this 50% discount. So if you want to get this discount, as soon as possible, just contact in our WhatsApp number as well as on the contact with this email. So I already added all of the information in the video description. Simply check it and then as soon as possible, contact and then put your set. So basically, it's the total seven days online training program. We take the class every Friday and Saturday in a week. And uh, class duration mainly four hours, three hours for your um, live training and one hour for the problem solving. And um, you can easily check your local time from this name. So basically in this online training program, you will learn all of these things from beginners to advanced level. And after completing this online training program, you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using Google Earth Engine. So here I already added all of course content. Can simply visit this website and part they can check all of course content all of details you can simply check you can simply check all of these things from my video description and you can get the, some benefit when you join my online training program such as you can get the course certificate after submitting all of assignment you can get that all of materials mainly slide pdf you can get all of practice code as well as you also get the recorded class if you miss any live training program you can easily cover using the recorded class and you also get the lifetime physical support. It's very important as a beginner because when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problems. So that's why when you join my online training program, you can get the lifetime teaching support regarding this online training program. So lifetime teaching support for any problem, any confusion, or any doubt or any issue on your code, you can get that lifetime teaching support and get the solution about that. So if you want to join this upcoming online training program, simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as also contact with this email but the book your seat and then join our training program thanks no more thank you for watching that stay up with yourself